Hey guys, today we are at Baxter Gardens. Uh, this is a hidden gem of Knoxville, Tennessee. To be completely honest with you, we did not know this was here until today. And it is uh, eight minutes from where we live. So this is Baxter Gardens. It is in kind of in between Fountain City and the Halls area of Knoxville. We're gonna show you around the gardens here, show you everything they have to offer. Um, they have guides. It is a large facility, fountains, uh, all kinds of different gardens as well. So we're going to show you everything here. So stay tuned. Look, no hat today. This is the first video I've ever made without a hat on. Now you get to see my hair, my lovely, lovely hair. Anyway, here we go. It also looks like every bit of the foliage, the flowers, all the bushes, trees, everything here. First of all, it's extremely well manicured and everything is labeled. So if you don't know what something is, just look around. There's going to be a label. We'll show you some of those labels as we're going, but there's going to be a label on everything that you see. And uh, here's this Baxter Garden Guide. You can pick this up as you come in. Um, it's a really well done, really well done little guide. Uh, and, and by the way, this is all completely free. You can come do this uh, totally for free. You can see the entire gardens, the fountains. I think it's like four or five acres worth of property here. Uh, I'll get back to you on that, make sure that number is right, but I believe that's right. Uh, but just tons and tons of stuff here to see. As you're walking down the little pass, there's these little cut throughs that lead like behind these bushes. And there's other little areas back behind there. There's monuments and statues, different things. So make sure you check those out. <laughs> Another thing that we are learning is this is a very popular spot for photographers for obvious reasons. There's people here, it looks like they're doing maybe spring pictures, Easter pictures, prom pictures maybe. Uh, but all kinds of uh, people here. Uh, taking tons and tons of pictures and again this is free you can come here you can enjoy the entire gardens do whatever you need to do here for free so this is the circle of thought there are several busts here all kinds of different people. There's uh, Galileo, and Voltaire, Benjamin Franklin, Ben's right there. There's Thomas Paine, who I am actually related to. This is the middle one of the three there. As you can see, there are tons of them. I see Einstein over there. Probably, I'm gonna say 25 of these maybe. Really cool. Again, great for pictures, great just to kind of come hang out, check it out, see what all is here. So there's Mark Twain, they have a Darwin, so just tons and tons of uh, thinkers, creators, inventors, all in this garden. That is the largest sundial I have ever seen. I would say that thing is a good 10, 12 feet across. Probably something like that. It is a big sundial. That's a big one. 
Oh, there's a car coming, guys. This area is the Lotus Pond. It's another part of the gardens. A lot of Japanese things here. We just found something. We'll show you guys this. Hello, little friend. It's a little frog. I'm sure he lives in this pond. Oh, there's a, a frog swimming in the pond. There's a little froggy swimming in the pond. They have some really awesome little statues here in this lotus garden. This is the Japanese god of abundance and happiness. He looks happy. Looks like he's got a lot of stuff in his hands, so, you know, happiness is what you make of it, right? Here's another statue. This is the Buddha. So they have these doors, these large wooden, I mean it's solid doors out here in the gardens and you just walk right through them into what pretty much looks like a maze. Large hedges here that make a, a maze. Again, we found this place today. We had no idea this place existed until today. Pretty cool place. And it, like I said, it's like eight minutes from our house. So we did find out that Baxter Gardens uh, has been here since 1992. That was when they started um, pulling all this together and building this. So it's been here for 30 years. Again, I had no idea it was here. It's eight minutes from where I live. Pretty cool. We also ran into a young lady. You know, the little video we had of the, of the frogs that uh, she just reached in the pond and picked one of them up. Turns out she works here at our local zoo and uh, she knew all about frogs. So that was really cool. She told us the difference between frogs and toads. I didn't know the difference. I knew there was one, but I didn't know what it was. So yeah, it's been a uh, learning experience for all of us. Well, I did not expect to find this inside the gardens. This <laughs> is uh, illustrations from the Kama Sutra. I'll let you look up what the Kama Sutra is. All right, now going into the next door, archway. It's like it's necessary to knock on it when you come in. Here's some of those little placards we were talking about. Little plates that tell you pretty much what every plant in this garden is. I could be wrong, but I bet that is a volcano. It's a small volcano, but it's a volcano nonetheless.
So I was right. That is Mount Fuji. So it was a volcano, and it is. I believe this represents Mount Fuji and the little village below it. All these little plants here kind of represent houses, maybe communities. This is really cool. I think maybe this is my favorite part so far we've found. I like this a lot. Some really large doors here at the Lotus Garden. I'd say those are 15 feet tall, maybe more than that. They just kind of go right into the We are now walking into the Bluebird Garden. So we're gonna show you what this one looks like. So we've done the Lotus Garden, we did the Thought Garden. Well, this is a smaller garden, but it actually shows that it's a smaller garden on the map. So we're gonna turn the camera around and show you guys. So this is the Bluebird Garden. Now you will see from the video, there's a really cool birdhouse here, but you'll see in the video that um, there's not really anything blooming. It has been unseasonably cool for uh, mid-April here in East Tennessee. And so we think that has kept a lot of the things that normally have bloomed by now from blooming. So maybe we'll come back in a week or two, maybe do an update and see if uh, things are blooming some. So we found this. The thing is, is we really don't know how to pronounce it. So if you know how to pronounce that, leave us a comment and tell us how to pronounce it. Uh, Analima? We don't know, but we're gonna go with Analima. But anyway, it is here in the garden, kind of off the beaten path, but here you can see some of the figure eight patterns that it talks about. There's one there. And there's another figure eight pattern right there. So yeah, if you know how to pronounce that word, let us know, because I really have no clue. We are now headed to another section of the gardens. This is the ball strade. We think we maybe pronounced that one wrong too. We don't know. They use a lot of big fancy words here that we don't know how to say, but anyway, uh, we're going to show you guys what is over here. Let's see some statues. There's a lot of people over here. A lot of prom pictures going on right now. That's what's going on here. A lot of prom pictures. The goddess of autumn, maybe? I guess I need to look up my Greek mythology, if that's what this even is. Here's another one. This one is winter. There's a nice little pond over here. See, look with lily pads on it. We don't see any frogs in this one, but we're betting there are several. We found the other two seasons. This one is summer. So I guess that makes this one spring. Let's find out. And... Yep, it's spring. Primavera. There's also a little pond over here on this side as well. So that's where we were down there. That's where the other winter and autumn is. And then summer and spring are down here where we are now.
I'm not sure if you can tell in the video or not, but this water flows out of this little pond down through there and goes for quite some way. Can't really see where it ends. So we're gonna walk down through there and show you guys uh, the rest of this portion of the garden and see where that water ends. So I think maybe this is my favorite part of the garden so far. I love the water, I love the running water. I love the sound of running water. I know I'm not the only person that likes the sound of running water, but just really enjoy it. By the way, that little statue right there that you see, that's Cupid. At any point in this video, you see my kids just dart off, run, dive on the ground. It's because they are terrified of anything that flies. <laughs> Bees or flies or even butterflies maybe. They just don't like things that fly. So that's probably what you're seeing if you just see them just go. Found a little butterfly friend. Hello, little butterfly friend. I don't know if you can see this or not. We're gonna try to focus in. They named that one after my wife. Don't tell her I said that. Check out that left hand. Finally found where the water ends. And it's in this nice little pond down here. Oh, there's koi in this pond. See, there's koi on the other end. You probably can't see that from the camera, but there are definitely koi in here. We'll go over here and see if we can show you the koi. The trail actually crosses the pond. You just walk right across the middle of it. On to the left. On to the right. Maybe you can see some of those koi now. I don't know if you can see them. Oh yeah, you can see them on the camera. Okay, you just uh, walk across it. A lot more koi down there. I believe this is the first time I've ever walked across the koi pond. That's new. We are now walking into the Azalea Gardens. If you're a fan of the Masters and Augusta National, you'll probably like this. Uh, definitely the most color we have seen on this little adventure. It's absolutely beautiful over here. So we're going to take a walk through here and see what else we can find. So I know this is not our typical type of video. But we wanted to come out and show you guys something different. And again, it's not for everybody. I understand that. Pretty awesome here, really. It really is. I mean, you can walk around. Like I said, it's completely for free. That's the thing that keeps getting me. This is free. Uh, we have walked around the gardens at Biltmore, um, which is some of the most you know known gardens in America. And this is just as nice. Now, I will tell you that this is only open from April 1st to the end of April. So you got a couple weeks to come out and see this. A little side note, there is obviously a lot of walking here just due to how much property there is to cover. Most of the trails are gravel. 
wear proper footwear and there's a lot of um, like rock stairs to climb so just make sure you have good good shoes on that's gonna be pretty important as you're walking through here I believe maybe that's what happens after the first move All right, guys, that is going to do it for us today here at Baxter Gardens. Like I said earlier, I know this is kind of a different video for us, but we found it. It's close to home. It's right here in our backyard. So we wanted to show you guys what you could come do here at Baxter Gardens. And remember, this is free. It opens at, uh, I believe, 8 a.m. till dusk every day, April 1st through the end of the month. Oh, thank you. I said, there's a lot of prom you people here. Hug? Can I have a hug? Yeah. See? A lot, of, a lot of prom here. A lot of people here taking pictures for prom. But anyway, you can come out, you can enjoy this, all these gardens, all the walking here. Um, and the gardens really change from garden to garden. There's, like I said, there's eight, nine different sets of gardens here. Come out, visit all of them. Have a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time.